before, long before, uh, we integrated, the high schools were going to be integrated in Macon. Joe Hendricks and Bill Randall. Bill Randall was a very powerful black uh, person in in Macon and Joe Hendricks and he were great friends. And so they got together and there were 17 high school students enter, entering the all-white Macon high schools at the time. And um, so they got together and decided that these 17 would come over to Mercer during the summer and be tutored uh, in English and in math. And so they did. At the end of that, though, there was a very significant event. Uh, Mercer held a banquet. Mercer paid for it. Mercer uh, directed it, everything. There was a banquet. And those 17 students were invited, along with the leaders of the high schools, the white uh, presidents, vice presidents of the student governments, and the principals were invited, and they were put each, each, the students were put with those principals and those leaders at a table to eat. The first time probably any of them had ever eaten, you know what I'm saying. And so uh, we had that, and it was very successful. The intention was that when those students went into those high schools, someone knew them. The leaders of those high school knew them. That led up to the, the next movement, which was Upward Bound. We had shown an interest in civil rights and in helping to integrate schools and helping to move this along. And uh, along with it, Vernon Jordan, I don't know whether you ever knew him or not, but he was a, uh, a black man who worked in, in the administration in Washington at the time. And I think he helped us with that. Uh, he helped Joe Hendricks and Bill Randall get the Upward Bound program, which is still going, 50 years of it. And uh, so we started Upward Bound, which was three summers at Mercer, living on Mercer campus, going to classes.